Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about total probability or rule of elimination. In order to make you understand this class, in our previous classes, we have already discussed about independent events and mutual exclusive events. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So in order to understand what's total probability means, uh, first we are going to take an example. We, along with this example, we are going to understand what's total probability means. Then we will go with the definition of total probability. Now, the example says, a certain product is manufactured at two plants, P1 and P2. So there are two plants, P1 and P2. They are going to manufacture a product. P1 makes 70% of the requirement uh, means in the market uh, if you need 100, 100 products uh, P1 is going to manufacture 70 of them. P2 makes 30% of the requirement uh, means remaining 30% is made by P2 and it was also given that P1 meets 90% of the standard products means uh, there is some standard out of uh, 100 made by p1 90% are standard products remaining are 10% are defective products p2 meets 80% of standard products this is what the manufacturing this is what the data from the manufacturing unit so according to the uh, efficiency of the machines and the manufacturing units, uh, it was given that 70% uh, is made by the uh, requirement, 70% uh, of the requirement is done by P1, 30% is done by P2 and P1 is making 90% of good products means standard products, 80% is done by P2. This is what the question says. And the uh, question is like this, out of 100 items purchased by a customer in the market, if you purchase 100 items, uh, how many will meet the standard means how many of them are the good products. Uh? So if you in the market, if you buy 100 products means these 100 products are from either P1 or P2 means it is manufactured by P1 or it is manufactured by P2. So out of 100 products you bought, how many of them are good products? So the probability depends on all this data. What's the percentage it is going to generate good products and how much it is contributing to the market. 70% of the product in the market are from P1. So understand it properly. 90% is good products from P1. How much it is contributing to the market? In the market, it is contributing 70% of the market. Based on this, the total probability depends. That's why total probability E is an event. We are saying that E be an event. Product is up to the standard means the product is good product. If you select a, if you select a product from the market, it is a good product. If it is a good product, that event we call it as a E. F1, F2 are events that items manufactured at P1 and P2 respectively. F1 is an event uh, that is uh, the product manufactured by P1. F2 is an event that uh, the item manufactured by P2. So these are the events which we have considered. And the, from the question it is asking that probability of E. E means E be an event of product is up to the standard. E. From the market if you buy a product, uh, what is the probability that it is going to be a good product? So this good product is dependent on uh, at the back end it is dependent on two events two events means uh, whether it is from product from whether the product is from uh, manufacturing p1 or from p2 that's why total probability probability of e is, e is given as uh, e and f1 means e should be a good product and from f1 means plant one or e should be a good product and uh, it should be from plan 2. This is what total probability means. We, if you want to identify probability of E, you have to identify this. And from the, from the, from the previous classes, we know that uh, these events are both mutually exclusive events. Uh, why they are mutually exclusive events? Let's try to understand the definition of mutual exclusive. What uh, mutu mutually exclusive definition says? They are uh, disjoint sets uh, if you if you pro, if you buy a product from the market uh, if that product is good product uh, that good product may be from plant one or may be from plant two not both occurring of e event uh, both the events at the same time is not possible that is what mutual exclusive means uh, 
so if you buy a product it may be from p1 or it may be from p2 not both this good product should not be both that's why these two events are mutually exclusive events so if you want to identify the probability of e probability of e intersection f1 or probability of e intersection f2 if these two are mutually exclusive events this is what the additional additional rule says that from the addition theorem we see we say that probability of e is given as probability of e intersection f1 plus probability of e intersection f2 so from the data e intersection from the conditional probability in our last class we discussed about conditional prob probability of e f1 is given as a probability of f1 probability of e given f1 plus probability of e f2 is given as probability of f2 probability of e f2 so this data is already provided by the manufacturer how we got that probability of f e f1 means 70 percent means 0.7 probability of fn means how much it is contributing to the market 70 percent probability of f2 is 30 percent probability p1 meets 90 percent of standard products probability of e given f1 if it is from f1 what is the probability 90 percent probability of e that is a good product standard product probability of e given f2 if it is from F2 means plant 2, what is the probability that it is going to be a good product means standard product 80% chances. So all these values are given by the manufacturer probability of F1 is given probability of E if it is from F1 probability of F2 probability of E if it is from F2. When you substitute this is what a probability is a 0.87 chances there means 87% it is going to be a good product from the if you buy a product from the market if you buy 100 products 87 products will be the on an average you are going to have 87 percent of the good products see here to improve the intuition of what's total probability means if you if the product is coming from a n plants p1 p2 p3 so on n plants 10 plants assume that n is equal to 10 so how the equation will be probability of e and f1 probability of e and f2 probability of e and f3 probability of e and f10 all are mutually exclusive events all are mutually exclusive events. if you if you select a product it may be from p1 it may be from p2 it may be from p10 not all that is what mutual exclusion says it may be from any one of the plant not it, it belong to p1 and p2 that's why we say it as mutual exclusive events. So now with this example, with the understanding of this example, we'll go into the definition of a total probability. If an event E can occur only along with event F, here our E is finding a good product. It can occur only along with event F. F means it may be manufactured in different plants. So it, if, it, if it is want to be a good product, it should be from F. That is what definition say. If an event E can occur only along with event F, suppose F can occur only in mutual exclusive ways, n mutual exclusive ways. Here F can occur from plant 1, plant 2, so on n, n mutual exclusive ways. Then probability of E can be given as sigma I is equal to 1 to N probability of F1 probability of E given F1. That is what, our, what we have done in the previous. In our example, N is 2. That's why probability of F1 probability of E F1 plus probability of F2 probability of E given F2. If you are having N products, this is what the equation. N plants, not N products, N plants. One product is made by n different plants. This is what total probability means. This is how we will identify total probability with this equation. See, understand the definition properly. Because we use the concept of total probability in our next class when we dis next next class when we discuss about Bayes theorem. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.